Yo, what's going on, Sexy Semblance Squad? Today we're doing our try hard Thursday. I don't got my watch on. I'm going to take my watch off, actually. I can't play with a watch on because I sit a little low on my desk. My desk gets a little higher than I am, so um, I get kind of cooked by the buckle in my watch. And then I just have like a permanent, <laughs> I have like a permanent mark on my wrist. You can kind of already see it from my watch, but um, yeah, so I can't do that. But hello, how are you guys doing? It's Try Hard Thursday. Today is Try Hard Thursday, and we are doing not only normal, uh, you know, try harding, but we are actually doing an Omega Try Hard Thursday. I am doing only hunters and i'm always building shifter shield and fatalis on them because they are the most broken class with the most broken items and ability to use said broken items so we're gonna go super broken mode and just abuse absolutely everything and everyone today that's kind of the goal uh, hopefully it goes well hopefully i don't lose in an hour that would be tragic so I do have one thing to say right before the action starts. I do have a second channel. It's a variety channel. It is called Sam Tuber. You guys want to go over there and subscribe. I will be uploading variety content on that channel. It will be very fun variety content edited and games other than Smite. Um, very, very enjoyable content in my opinion. Obviously, I think all my content is fun and enjoyable, but... I think I win this, right? Maybe I don't. Oh, that. Wait, hold on. I might get owned here. No, I'm chilling. Okay, nice. I almost died, but I got the red buff and I live. But yeah, so there's going to be edited variety content on that channel. I did start that channel about three years ago. There's about 3,000 people subscribed to it, so that's really awesome. Thank you for the 3,000 people that are subscribed. I'd love to get it to like 10K so we can get some some decent traction on that but if not i understand completely um i haven't uploaded on that channel in quite some time however i did just hire a full-time editor um who will be doing videos on that channel for me i think this guy dies here yes he does uh, i did hire a full-time editor who will be doing content on that channel for me and it will not be every day like Obviously, I'd need like five editors if I wanted to do everyday content. But I will say there will probably be a video every two weeks uploaded on that channel. Maybe every other week or, or maybe every week if it's like crazy. But generally speaking, we're going to try to shoot for every other week. And we're going to go for, like I said, just some like kind of heavy editing variety content just to make you giggle a little bit. Enjoy some some extra time with me. If you want that. Yeah, it'll be it'll be pretty fun, I think. There's not really much to talk about in this game right now, which is why I went a little bit longer on that topic than I thought I would. Because I'm just farming. You know, I'm going to go Griffin Wing. I'm going to go Aussie. I'm going to go Chalice. And um, I'm going to be very, very hard for him to kill. I also even got beads in case he alts me and I can just like jump away or something. So I can beads his ult. Nice. I don't think I stopped his back there. Yeah. Unfortunate. But it's fine. I'm still 600 gold ahead. And I also got triple buff control, so... I'm feeling really good, dude. I'm feeling really good. He does have itch of all. Oh, goodness. That itch ball cooked me. He's gonna try to come over here and use his two, I bet. No. We got a lot of lifesteal. I'm actually chilling. His ult being down and then my ult not being down and my lifesteal. I feel pretty good here. Not gonna lie, I feel kind of okay. Nice. Nice. I knew I'd be fine. I mean, like, I'm a hunter. I picked a better class. 
By the way, the reason for this video, me just playing Hunters for Try Hard Thursday, uh, I mean, obviously it's Try Hard Thursday. I'm supposed to be Cody McGee, and this is the best way to do it. But um, I feel like nobody has fun playing Duel anymore. Everyone's always just picking like the most meta garbage that they can. Even Erling is like a pretty meta pick. Um, and there's something to say about it being a ranked mode and, you know, people want to climb in that ranked mode. So it's going to be meta, right? Like it makes sense. But there's also something to say for like a, it's a video game and Duel doesn't have a pro scene. In fact, the entire game doesn't have a pro scene. So taking anything serious in Smite right now is kind of, well, Smite as a whole is a joke, so... All right, I kind of expected that. Oh, I think I killed myself. That is unlucky. I did. I don't know why. I just thought he wouldn't alt me. Just something in my brain was like, "Yeah, I'm chilling." I don't have alt. That means he doesn't have alt. But he definitely, he definitely had alt. Oh well. I'm not too worried about it. Especially once I get hastened. I can just backpedal and kill him. Right, Aussie to keep me healthy here. I'll pick up blue. I don't mind a little cooldown. Also grab this. Bring this over here. Oop. A little speed buff for my boys. See, surely you're not doing bull demon. You were doing bull demon. Interesting. Hmm. The itch of all burst damage is very high because of, you know, the tortoise. He actually just takes no damage at all. Oh, he's got the full Berserkers. Gotcha. All right. All right. That's fine. I'm cool with this. Go shifters. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. The gold. I don't mind. It's not that much gold, and it's like a lot of increase. It's 800 gold for an extra 100 health, 20 protection, and 5 HP 5. That's pretty good. You got a red pot. He wants my shit dead, dude. Good god, man. Okay. Can't kill him. Yes! That kill is massive! He just bought a 500 pot and he just gets owned. Nice. I was never scared I was going to lose this game, but now I'm definitely not scared. He bought a 500 pot so he could contest, contest red for me, but... I don't know, man. Very much not likely anymore. Bought another 500 bots, by the way. You can have your blue. I don't really mind. Maybe he was banking on me jumping over the wall there. I think I would die if I jumped over the wall. Maybe the only way in this game again for him is to double down on the 500 pots like he did. I don't mind this. Yeah, I really do not mind this. I'm feeling pretty good. There's his alt down. I think that was also his, his thorns before, if I'm not mistaken. Like when I killed him when he had that the first 500 pot. But I think right now, what's his game plan? I don't know. This 
I mean, you cannot. He's gonna run that way. I don't really have a lot of mana, unfortunately, so I don't think I can kill him here. That's fine, though. I have so much gold in hand. All right, let's grab shifters. Grab Chitu Hastened. Second relic. I'm just gonna grab a thorns actually. Cause if he if he blinks on me, cause he does have blink thorns. If if we double thorns, we both thorns. I think I win that fight for for sure. All right. I don't mind him being like. Seems a little spooked. He might blink on me here. Yeah. Oh, I could die here for sure. Can't move. Damn. My two almost came up. My two almost came up. Bummer. He is so tanky though. I hit him with 32 autos and he lived. 32 autos and a point blank ult. Hmm. I mean, I guess it's just like XE Kins, right? That's the whole build. I don't need any kind of fancy crit or anything. Warriors are good. I mean, like I said, if, if you're not picking an assassin, or if you're not picking a hunter, then warriors are second best. Warriors are basically assassins. With how much damage they get. He does have the Xe online. The Xe's kind of spooky. I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, he's going frosty. A little frosty. Ah. Oh. Alright, that's pretty good for me. This is, this is actually looking really good for me. I'm not going to lie. Because now you go to there and I just go straight to Bull Demon. You might be able to make it to me because he has Blink, right? So And Blink is like... Blink is kind of good. But if even if he kills me here, all I lose is my tower, right? Nice. Nice. Look at that. <clears throat> we'll say Frostbound is a it's a very, very, very good item. I do have one minion right now. One minion is pretty awesome for me. Okay. This shall engulf you. I do actually think that I get this Phoenix. Maybe not. I forgot he had the... Nope. Wait, maybe? I could actually win this fight still, I think. Nice. Nice. And that's what makes Hunters OP, dude. That would, that's what makes Hunters OP. Hasten Fatalis just kiting around like nobody's business. He can't even get to me. Even though, 
even though on paper Erling Shen wins that matchup, um, actually, I don't think Erling Shen does win that. Well, he's knocked back immune in his turtle form, right? That got changed. I don't know. Either way, it was a good game. Yo, what's up? Welcome back, gamers. I'm back with game number two. Why is my face cam a little darker? Is it just because is my is I, I, I am I weird? Am I being weird? Oh, I broke it. Oh, does it need to go down? No, I don't know. Why? I feel like, is my head just large? I feel like maybe I just have a large head. Maybe I have an XL head. <laughs> maybe I have an XL head. I never thought about it like that, but now that I think about it, hold up. I think I might have an XL head. Do I win the level three? I'm going to go ahead and assume no. But I'm going to I'm going to fight him anyways. If I die, so be it. There's no bonus gold in duel for first blood. Uh, and there is a gold bonus for killing them after. So like if I get first blooded and then he kills me. Or I'm sorry, if I get first blooded. Hold on. Oh, ho, ho. Ah, ah, ah. oh, 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 ah, oh, 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 ah. Holy shit, I can't believe I killed him. Anyways, what I was saying. If I get first blooded and then I kill him back, you see right here I have a 15% bounty. Every single kill that you have on a kill streak increases your bounty gold that you give to the person who kills you by 15%. So at one kill, I have 15% extra. At two kills, I have 30% extra. At three kills, I have 45% extra. Um, and so on and so forth, you know, until the end of time. Um, so because there's no bonus gold for first blood, and there is bonus gold because of bounty gold for second and third blood, then it's actually better. Maybe not Maybe not better because you lose some, some map pressure, but... It's not bad, I'll say, to give up first blood thinking maybe you can win the level three fight. Now, that's not saying a hey, go into your level three fights because Sam said it's good. I don't think it's good. I just think it's maybe not bad. Okay. As long as you're a character that can like redeem yourself afterwards, then you're fine, man. You're fine. Don't get, don't get so worried about a first blood. Uh, by the way, Bounty Gold is also a thing in every other mode. Although I will say in other modes, First Blood Gold does count. So... Wait, are you just dead there? Wait. No, I missed the... Auto. Let's go! I landed the auto. Dude, three kills in a minute and a half. I've sharpened my Three kills in one and a half minutins. That's the hunter death, baby. That's why you lock in hunters. Hunters give you MMR. Hunters beat GMs. Hunters makes you the GM that will then get beaten by other hunters. It's the circle of life, babe. Now he did go itch of all again, like he did last game, which I'm not too worried about. Uh, because I'm like power spiked out of my mind right now. Why did that rock go flying into the abyss? Also, I'm maxing my one. I, I know you guys have noticed. I'm maxing my one. Not because it's actually better. Uh, but because I'm very... I'm very... What's the word? It's not aggressive, but like confrontational is the word. Right now. I'm feeling very confrontational. And my one is the best thing to have... A confront with. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know the wording. Just forget that I said anything. You know what? Just forget that I talk sometimes. That's best for everyone. All that matters, all that you need to know is it helps me go pew pew just a little bit harder. Alright, grab the Aussie. I'll, I'll wait for the 300 gold mark for the Chalice. I don't mind that. A red buff spawning pretty shortly. Him having only Ichabal makes me think I can fight him, actually. I know that, I, like, literally last game, we had this same build against each other, and I lost the fight. However, this time, I have a stim.
Oh, I, I killed myself? My alt missed. I'm dead now. I'm dead. I'm dead. Wait, no, I'm alive. Quickly. If my alt hit, I actually win this fight. That's so crazy. My alt does so much damage early game, especially with the Griffin Wing power. You know what? Actually, I'm just going to say fuck it. Please. You're right. My bad. You win. I'm just going to get blue. That way, even though I lost the fight, it's still an even trade. I'll take it. Alt for alt, relic for relic, even XP. That's good for me. Actually, slightly better XP. Because I get rock. He's going to get actually second buff. But I'll get XP camp. You know what? That was actually like pretty much damn near. That was about as even as possible. Unless he comes and steals his XP camp, which would be crazy. Oh, goodness. What you doing over here, buddy? Ooh, what are you going? You're going breastplate instead of... You're going breastplate instead of... Berserker shield. For real. That doesn't seem like a good idea to me. I feel like... Well... I was going to say, I feel like... Maybe he's just playing... He wants to play off knockup cooldowns. Which... Obviously, if he's building cooldown, that's what he wants to play off. But also, is that smart, though? I kind of feel like it ain't. I don't know why it said ain't. It Like, it isn't smart. I'm just going to go shifters again. I, I, honestly, I could go berserkers. I don't know why he started so hard. I could go berserkers. This is very, very good in this position. Some nice little attack speed. I could also go itch of all and say F the defense. I don't mind, honestly. Oh, close. Close call on that one. Close call on that one. Not bad. Um, I think I will go Berserkers. I actually feel like that attack speed might go really, really hard for me. It might be, it might be a pivotal moment for me. A turning point in my life, one might say. Yeah, so because I, I was on a killing spree, I had a 45% bounty on my name. He killed me one time and he's only down 600 gold. When realistically, he should be down probably about a thousand. But that bounty goes hard. He bought a 500 pot. Because he wants to hurt me. I don't mind. I don't mind. There's the breastplate. That's decent damage. That is actually good damage. That's not only decent damage, that's good damage, I'd say. Wait, I might die here? Okay. Well, there's everything. Mm. Oh, you might be dead here, gamer. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. I don't know. Maybe he thought, maybe he forgot that I had alt up. I could, I could see why he would forget I had all up. Or maybe it, it just glitched out and he got stunned when he wasn't looking. Either way, I could I could see both ha things happening. Oh, hello. I've just DC'd. I'm reconnecting. I just got smite servered. I'm coming back into the game. Okay. Hopefully it picked up my red buff. But I could see both things happening because on one hand, smite code, as you can see. Um... Oh, he paused for me. Thank you. Thank you for the pause. I'm good to go, Grog. Uh, Grog, make fire. Wait. I'm good to go. Thank you. Um, On one hand, smite coding, as you know, you just had first hand of it, is pretty ridiculous. So I could see him being stunned when he shouldn't have. Um, and then secondarily, for me. 
I could also see him thinking in like the big fight when we both used our, our thorns and like brawled out that we both altered just because sometimes that's just how brains work. You know, I used my alt, I used my relic. He used his alt, he used his relic. But lo and behold, he didn't really use his alt now, did he? But either way, I could see the mistake happening. I'm very strong now. Um, I not only have a defense item, I also got rid of his 500 pot. I also have a red buff, so... Okay. So his alt is better than my relic here, and the reason being... I know it, it, it sounds idiotic. The reason being, um, my alt is more valuable than horrific because my two applies anti-heal. Oh, he's dead, I think. Yeah. My two applies anti-heal, which is, is good against his alt also. So I don't really need horrific for his alt. It's just to slow him down to confirm a kill. Um, but then my alt also slows him down and potentially peels him away from me in a hole. So I have two items or two abilities in my kit that both equal or are greater than horrific for me. So using horrific to get his alt out, which is basically the only way he can survive a hit, is um is good for me. All right, see you in game three. Welcome back, video game players. I'm playing Fatalis Hunters. I'm not scared of Erling. I can just fight him. I'm not scared of Erling. I can just kill his ass. That's a song. I hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't enjoy it, kind of on you. Honestly, have a little more fun in your life. You know what I mean? Uh, Griffin Wing. Boom, boom, pow, pow. Do I go one of each or do I go two in the one? Um, I'm thinking one of each is way safer because Erlang can dive really well. I'm also thinking, what if I don't care? And I just fight his ass, level three. Sure. Let's fight him. Honestly, I kind of do want the red buff. So I'll, I'll probably invade this game. I gave him red buff last game, but I didn't really enjoy that. Well, I didn't give him red buff last game. They killed his ass level three with 14 HP left. Oh, that's tragic. Um, I'm kind of okay with it. Yeah, you're kind of getting owned. And my, my passive is keeping me really healthy. Now, you do have thorns. You do have thorns. I'm not psychotic about that. Nice. I just want to land the auto on him just so I can get that two poke. Dude, look how freaking healthy I am. This guy is so Buster Brown. Get it? Because he's busted. Can I secure this for free? I have a feeling he's just giving it to me. My poke battle is just too damn good. I'm going to auto this down slowly because I don't really care about saving HP because I have a passive that does infinity to me. I am level 5. Which actually I'm not sure how I got level 5. Oh, it's because I cleared the whole wave and he hasn't yet. There's level 5 for him. Um, I'm going to ult this. I'm gonna ult that just because now he's gotta he's gotta clear my wave and he's gotta greed for the wave and it lets me go back be very healthy get to my blue can, giving me double buff control here and potentially XP buff control as well it just gives me a lot of pressure you know ulting that wave 
Um. Yeah, let's just do this. All right, that went off not the way I wanted it to, but that's fine. Not scared of you. Kind of just vibing. Nice. I just wanted to land the auto so I could get some healing going. And, you know, the poke's nice too. Now I get these, and now I have double XP, or I have double buff control with XP camp, which is very, very good. He should realistically not be able to fight me at all, I think. Hello? Okay. I don't mind that. Genuinely do not mind that. Because I got all of these buttons. Oh, shit. Hey! That knockup was crazy, though. Well played. I'm not even mad about that. Well played. Um, I'm going to switch things up a bit. Because... I can't afford Tier 2 Aussie, but I can afford Tier 2 Berserkers. So I'm just going to go Berserkers. That was a that was a well played knockup. I genuinely didn't think he had that that ready for me. Cause I had alt ready. I could have just ulted, but I guess my own uh my own overconfidence was my own slow and insidious killer. If you know where that's from, leave a comment. Um I'm not too scared. Again, I, I, you know, I have all. I'm kind of chilling. Alright. Those are pretty even trade. I guess he's going to blue. No, he's not going to blue. Um. Let's just get these minis down. Obviously, he's coming over here. Okay. There's his alt gone for seemingly nothing. They took pretty much no damage doing that. Nice. Alright. I mean, if he doesn't get his own blue buff here, then all that was for nothing. And he definitely could get his blue buff here. I'm just saying, you know, gotta prove it, you know? get this in time. I do have my one up. Oh, gotta run. Gotta blast! Hmm. I think I'm just gonna sit here and poke him. I am not killing anything here. I'll do some damage to him. I'll do some damage. Um, let's go this. Maybe I should start building itch of all first item. That item is like very, very strong. I mean, I don't know. It is strong. It's just like Whatever. I get strong when hasten comes up, so I'm not worried about it too yet too far yet and i'm still not that far behind i'm really far behind in xp right now but that's it also would love some cooldown actually
Wow, he is very tanky. My gosh. Okay. Understood the assignment. Jesus Christ. Give me like four times and I lost 500 health. And then I hit him ten times and he lost no health. Well played, Captain Butso. You know, he does get full demon and get away. But I do get red buff and finish my Aussie, so maybe it's fine. I don't think my back is getting off here. Oh, it is. Okay. You know what? Actually, it might be fine. There it is, baby. There it is. The bull demon did nothing. Very, very good for me. All I had to do was make sure that he knew it wouldn't do anything, you know? Once he knew, once he was aware. Hello. Ooh, I lived. That was a nice play. That's both of his relics and his ult. That's a nice play. I like that play. Okay. I'm not very scared here. Because, again, I have an ult. Okay. You actually backing? Ooh, you are actually backing. Okay. All right. This is a very like cat and mouse game. He tries to kill me. I don't let him kill me. And then that's, well, that's the whole game. <laughs> that's everything. It's not that cat and mouse, I guess. Um, I should definitely go XE instead of hastened here. So I will. Um, so this is not a good position for him to be in. And here's the reason why. He's up two kills, but I'm ahead in gold. And I'm even in XP. Which you might be thinking, okay, how is that a bad position for him to be in? He has a 30% bounty. So if I ever kill him, he's going to be so far behind. It's, it's tragic for him. And on top of that... He also spent 500 gold on a red pot that didn't give him an advantage. So, it's it's kind of negative for him here. He's The outlook of this game looks very bleak for him right now. He's going Midgard, though. Midgard's a good item. I don't know why sometimes my one just doesn't go off in time. I heard you, buddy. Oh, damn, you do damage. My goodness. That's okay, though. So do I. I just needed the one auto on him. The one auto that pretty much solidifies the fact that I'm in the lead, you know? 
And now it's his turn to probably use everything on me again in order to save his tower. Oh, well played. Nice jukes, nice jukes. I can't be mad at that. That was a good backstab juke. It's really counterintuitive, like just as a person to juke into the thing that's killing you. You know, like when you, if someone like puts damage on you in, in real life, I don't, why did I just say it like that? If someone hurts you in real life, <laughs> I'm such a gamer that I just said puts damage on you. If somebody hurts you in real life, right? Let's say you fell, you got a cut, your mom is cleaning the cut. This is when you're a kid. Obviously. You don't flinch towards the pain. You flinch away from it, right? Um, I have anti-heal now, so I don't know if you win these. Actually, not only do you not win them, but you got severely owned. But yeah, so you flinch towards... Like, safety, you know? Away from any kind of pain. And that goes the same as in-game for most people. They'll flinch away, they'll juke away from any kind of oncoming ult, right? But, hello, mid-guard. Hello, mid-guard poppy. Okay, why does it do that, though? I don't know why it keeps, like, doing the one, like, casting the one, but not actually casting it, you know what I mean? We just back. All right. That was really good damage. I didn't think that would blow up like that. All right. We got hastened. And now how much health do you have? 2300 already. Now I just go Kins. I could also go Itch of All. I mean, it depends, but I just go Kins. He's done a really good job living. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay. That blink is for nothing you now. Hmm. That's pretty good for me. Cause there's this blink down. I don't know about Thorns. I don't think his Thorns is down. Let's just blink in his ult, though. Which... Both those things down means I might be able to just do Bull Demon. I'm waiting to see him at wave. If he doesn't choke at wave, then I'll just drop it. Okay. I have a hard time believing that he wants to fight. Alright, there's his thorns down again. And then I'll just life steal up like this. I'll use my passive when I can. Oh, that's a good ult. That's a good ult. Alright. I'm not mad at that. Well played. He's very healy. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. I saw him run this way, but... You never know. People are crazy. Um, I'm just going to wait for the Kins here. He's got to be really scared, man. Because he's, he's 1,400 gold down, minus 500. So he's actually almost 2,000 gold down. So I'm a full item ahead. He bought another 500 pot, dude. That's so, that's so risky for him. Oh, I don't have my three up.
Me not having my three is pretty bad there. Just went straight back. Oh, but now he's got no mana. Yeah, now you got no mana. He thought I backed, but I have so much healing between my passive and my my actual Aussie. Not to mention my chalice and stuff. He thought I backed, but I didn't. Also, fun fact, with uh with Haas, with Hastened, you can actually just kite the Titan in a circle. And the Titan will never hit you. So even if you have like 150 health, you can still like as long as you can take one hit while repositioning yourself to get the the angle you need for the circle correct as long as you can do that uh you can cut the titan forever all right see you guys next game yo welcome back to the final game of today's try hard thursday it is going to be a hoi game Tsukiyumi's not bad man that's a spooky one that's a spooky one he's got the uh he's got the disarm on the two that could absolutely slaughter me. And I am going to need Aegis. Probably. If I don't want to get owned at least. But I think what I'm going to do. Believe it or not. I think I'm actually just going to go uh, Thorns. Because here's my plan. Hold on. I'm thinking about my plan. Okay. Here's my plan. If he actually comes to play and he hurts me, he's good at his disarm and his ult and stuff. I can always just go beads or Aegis, whichever one is more traumatic for me during the game. Um, at level 12. At level three, I just get a feel for how he's playing. You know, I I've only fought him all day. Um, I've currently taken away, I think, 270 MMR from him, so he's not. He's not feeling too good. He's probably playing a little bit tilted. And I do believe wholeheartedly that playing tilted makes you play pretty bad. So like, and the reason I say that is not because I think he's playing pretty bad. I think it's because I play really bad when I'm tilted. And I would like to think that I'm a human and other people share equal qualities with me, you know? Oh, he actually got that quick as fuck. I didn't think he would. I went for the blue because I thought maybe I could actually like yoink his red, but nope. Oh, we started tier two Jotuns, that's why. I just want to get the minis here, I think. Yeah, that's fine. Nice. Nice. Okay, so the way I played that was I knew he'd get his stun off. But I don't think I care about the stun. And because I don't care about the stun, I played that basically just to secure the blue buff and not have like a gigantic weakness after it. I'm going to ult just to get that wave cleared. It's going to keep him pressured to stay for the next wave. Or else he'll feel probably quite bad missing all that golden XP. So he's going to stay for that wave. Even though he has no XP, or oh, I'm sorry, no mana. Um, and now, um, I was hoping I could stop his back and then I could clear this way for free and then he'd just feel really not good. But, get a well-timed back. back here. I'm not too worried about any kind of fight. 
not too worried about any kind of fight if it breaks out. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play pretty pretty safe right now, I think, because he does have the full Jotuns, which is a little bit scary because you know the fast cooldowns and the, the stuns and stuff. The ranged autos, it could be a it could be pretty spooky. As long as I have my three up though, I feel I feel safe. But I just need to I just need to be a little bit careful, play a little bit safe. Make sure I don't waste my three for any reason. I'm here for 200. That's crazy. Well, that's not good. Oh, close. Close. If that auto attack didn't kill, I think I died. The reason being, like, yes, he'd be very low HP. But the reason I think I die there is because he gets around the corner with his full ult, like, already charged. Um, I stand here. He's around this corner hitting me with all of his ult hits. And then um, right out of his ult, he simply twos. And there's, I, I'm pretty sure nothing I can do about that. does hurt. Ouch. I'm just gonna fight him. Oh, that doesn't proc during... Oh! Oh! No way he lived. That's crazy. My thorns doesn't proc damage while he's ulting. Well played, man. I'm not even mad. Well played. I thought maybe he'd be scared. Uh, okay, so he has no alt. Am I scared of him if he has no alt? I'd, I'd say probably not. I'm just gonna drop alt on these big boys. Go to my blue. And also I'll grab this while I'm at it. Oh, the Yoan's Hydra's combo. He's going to pump so much damage. Ouch. Can you feel it? It Ouch. I can already feel the amount of Shuriken sitting inside my body when he's when he's late game. And he has no cooldowns because he's slapping me with the Shuriken and then picking it right out of my body. Oh. You let me have one. That's so kind. Hello. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's the Hoi diff, right? That's, that's the Hunter diff again. I just, I don't really care about anything he does. If he disarms me, I stun him. If he ults me, I jump, you know? Oh, that would have chunked. Okay, that 140 in an auto. Oh, close. Close. I kind of want to just go Bull Demon, but I'm only two items and I feel like I'm not going to be able to kill Bull Demon very fast. Nice. Okay, so now now it doesn't okay. I was gonna say now it doesn't matter how fast I kill Bull Demon because I just go and ult it and he's dead for ten seconds anyways, so I could have I could have taken my time. I could have even just not ulted. I could have used no abilities and probably still killed it in time. Because it doesn't have much health at, at eight minutes in. But GG, that's the game. That's the uh that's the try hard Thursday. I think I got just over three hundred MMR today. Probably 300 and like 10 or 315, somewhere somewhere around there, but it's a fun one. I hope you guys enjoyed the actual Omega tryhard where I picked good gods and played the most meta build 
and just uh just slapped with it man if you did make sure to like comment and subscribe don't forget to check out that sam tuber channel i want to see those subs go from 3k to 45k in one night that would be sick um but yeah thanks so much for watching until next time y'all peace